Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, OJ here, and we are here for another NHL Rival Week on EA Sports. This is the next matchup as we're about to be seeing the next two in battle. The next Canadian team series is the Battle of Alberta. The Calgary Flames are facing against Edmonton Oilers on Edmonton. So here's how they did. In Canada, the Battle of Alberta is in between the Edmonton Oilers and Calgary Flames. It's a legendary, and these two teams' matchups often feature high scoring games and fierce physicality. The rivalry reached its zenith during the 1980s. When Wayne Gretzky's Oilers and the Flames were pro contenders. Now there are another way that we're gonna have to like try to figure it out what does happen. And as you can tell what it is now, they are really are trying to make that one feel like that they are all over them again. And because that's what be happens in the rival between the Canadian cities of Calgary and Edmonton, they province of Alberta, and most of the office describe as 40 events in between the two cities. This is not definitely exclusive how this is how uh, this happens, and it's organized sports in Alberta. That's what all happens right now, but we're about to be seeing what goes now for the next game. The starting goaltender is in between of uh, uh, Elliot uh, uh, Markstrom and Skinner on the air side of the goaltender for the Oilers. The starting lineup is in between of uh, Elias Lindholm. Mackenzie B. Weger, and Rasmus Anderson. On the other side is Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Time to send you down here in Battle Alberta in Edmonton, where sitting by I have is across there here with Fan and to the Son of Beast. And as third commentary of the crew that will be in the center ice will be Cool Beast. I'll be back here with the halftime of the last period where the three star players the game and the total statistics scores. Let's get this game started and let's do it. See you all guys later. It's that time. Canadian hockey team rivals of Battle of Alberta, the Oilers, and the Flames. And staying along, send the beast along with Fan and Cool Beast in center ice. Ready to go here at Rogers Place. The story matchup is now as McConnor McDavid gives to Nugent Hopkins. Shine Provich over again to Anderson as the star puts up for the Calgary Flames. We go right towards outside of the left. Brown takes a puck steal. Skinner and Markstrom are your starting goaltenders for the for tonight. In between of the nurse, here's another one. Takes a pass to Dijon Hopkins. Fires around. Little hold with the block shot. Magipane with the puck and it goes right over to Weger. Calgary pushing their way out in between. Ushari over to Brown. In the center ice now into the left side. Anderson takes a block. Takes a firing pass to Shankovich. Shevich Davis shot. Slap and bounce. Save and beat comes up by Markstrom. We're the first night and it puts up at a start for the goaltender. Calgary and Edmonton battling on across the boards. To lose the play inbound, Weger gives the Zari shot. Skinner takes a save. This one's a good cross of a mountain, and then this one's a lot hard to try to take up for Skinner. It's a lot there aggressive to try to maintain the run, but the pressure of it is going to be a hard one to take. The win puts up for Edmonton Oilers. Nurse gives the cane. In towards the middle, finds Hyman. On a shot inbound! Good save by Mark Schoen! He's really well at it because Markstrom really has an eye on the key. The ultimate matchup is turning out to be very hard when he has done. Leon Dreisaitl has a lot of it in courtesy of that one to take the tape to tape feed on its own. He makes a good accuracy passing and emotion in the lane of this territory when he has that one most of the game inbound. I'll be finding it out if the Leon Dreisaitl can take over with the puck and take that pass to an open spot of the, of the side of the man. And I'll find out what happens here. 
guys, back to you. Here's Dreisaitl, right towards the right, and finding Hyman, shot! Stop again by Markstrom. Hyman recovers the puck. Take the inbound, as Hannafin dug in the, with the rejection. Hospicil with the puck right in towards the left. And the inbound then, Oiler take another save for Skinner. Hyman recovers the puck. Edmonton on its way back down to the other end. Gives a pass to Kane. In his own entry to Calvary zone. And Markstrom stop. 15.31 to go in the first period. No score here in Calgary and Edmonton. Both two guys are ready to take another face off. The win puts up for Calgary. Anderson taking the puck away from it, but recovered it by Forsley. Coleman's got that puck right in this neutral zone, battling it again. Back one, get back to Herberdu. Gives it over to Weaver shot. Close save by Skinner. He's excellent on the mounting. You know that like Jeff that Skinner had that one had a lot of a great technique. And also been scoring on this one turned out to be an excellent to make that playable run. Not just uh what he does, but that's a lot of it to take in courtesy of that point. Richard passes to Gagnor. On the offensive end, shot stopped by Markstrom. Rebound and cover up by Anderson, and now pulling it over to Coleman. Coleman right towards the left side, space down! Fujo with the puck, and it goes the other way. Good takedown for the defensive settling, and now back the arrow is Backlund. Pass to Herberdu, shot, stopped away by Skinner. He had to have a great target, and now he's going to take out a lot of huge defensive takedown. That's a lot of it to take over and try to, to stop the run and pressure. I never see when it goes like that, but that's a lot of hard responses. After a save by Markstrom, here's Weger. McLeod right over again in the backside. Nurse on a run. Curve bound. Stopped by Markstrom. 13 minutes to go and Lavoie. Shot stopped by Markstrom. Lavoie finds McLeod. Magiapane recovers a pot. He goes down as Backlund recovers it. Sharon Kovic right forward in the middle. Blocked by Nurse. Rebounded it. Holloway takes it over as Ryan is inbound. 12.15 to over to Lebboy. On the shot! Stop by Mark Stone. 12.06 remaining in the first period. Looking to get a score run in between Edmonton and Calgary. There might be one thing. I must tell you now, a better secret of this power might be a hard one to take. But it's a lot of pressure to keep your eyes on the focus line if you got to get there quickly and fast. Benefit with the puck right toward the left. In the right slot, locked it away as Brown takes it over. Nugent Hopkins, one on one, on the breakaway chain, stopped by Mark Stroh. McDavid lost the puck as Hannafin gives it back to Tanev, and Tanev goes down. CC with the puck, now find Nugent Hopkins and McDavid. Hospital with the puck, now find Hannafin. The Flames regain their group into the offensive zone inbound. Taking the puck away, right into the center. Near the boards, that goes with a slam, takedown. A lot of a huge aggressive fighting in the, in the battle of Alberta, right between the Oilers and the Flames, or on the board inbound. Took it away from here, that one. Yeah, it's got to be a lot of like a, a hustle. Gotta have to make it quiet out there. Might not be a good thing to go for, but this might need to get another string to go with the attackers on. Desimony with the puck now into the left side. Pass to Greer. Shot stopped by Skinner. Battling for the loose puck of the chain. And now find Doobie. Over and out of Desimony. Stopped by Skinner. CC now gives the Kane with under midway mark of the period. Oh, he just made that tumble down. That is a hard hit, and it's Greer back to Desimone. Well, you, you, you never just saw that one in what comes to be like a, a horrible takedown. That is a lot hard, but I have never seen what it's, it's expecting it. And because of that point, it's really going to be a hard one to try to stay out. Desimone give it over to Zadaroff, and now Lindholm. Lindholm gets sucked up. Magic Pane with the recover. 
On a swift, swift move, slide to sidestep, stopped by Skinner. Ryan takes it over. Stops the bounce, Skinner holds the puck with under eight minutes to go in the first period. Turned out there on a good start, but no score yet. We have another one here, and it's just one cost down here for Connor McDavid. He has his wheels to take them over. He can try to put a fast swing right in between, and it now will be taken off for the run instead. And on the other side of it, Elias Lindholm will have it all down, but he's got a lot of it to go right from here. These are the top two of the rankings we're watching, and I'll be keeping an eye on, right in between Lindholm and Connor McDavid. Back to you guys. Magic Pane in the corner. Near the board. Nurse recovers it. Seven minutes gone by in the first period. Still no score of the game. Give the pass. Holy shot! That goes wide and off to the boards. Hannafin takes the puck away and Danette has it. Calgary back into the position zone. Now finding Lindholm over to Hannafin. Makes a move in front. Toward the left slot. Pospisol lost that one. Matt Cleo, he never again on Holloway. Now he gives out to Nurse. Six minutes going by in the first period. And Nurse takes a cut and bound to move the door. Stop by Mark Strong. McLeod over again. No open foul for the Edmonton Oilers. Cadre's up into the right side of the slot. Takes a pass to Hannafin. On the shot. Good save by Skinner. He really got well at that point. Might have to keep your eyes focused on the run if you want to get that good save. But he's got good clear vision. As he goes down, he goes back the airway for the Calgary Flames. Pop takes away as Gabner has it. Lost that one. Pop leads his own as Nurse takes it over. Give the pass to McCloy. McCloy over a down shot. Stopped by Mark Stroh with 425 left. Still lots of time left to remain in this period. Still no score to gain. And it goes up empty handed. Got a little bruise in between here, and that's a hit. Officials are getting set, ready for another face off attack. No score in the game, looking to keep that one crowd to go with a 1 0 lead. It goes swiped out. Puck leaves his own, and now he will have to try to find more room as Echo diagonal to Nugent Hopkins, and now find McDavid. He finds it to Brown. Brown swipes out. Anderson recovers the puck here, now finding Herberdu. Herberdu went down! Oh, this is a lot of battle hit takes for Edmonton Oilers and Calgary this far matchup. McDavid gives it back to CeCe, and now Eugene Hopkins is right toward the right slot. Anderson with the puck. He gives the puck right over to Coleman. 3 10 left to go in the first period. Takes a swipe down. CeCe with the puck. No penalty call on, on Calgary. Stop by Skinner. Back on get to Herberdu. On the inbound. That shot went wide. It goes right towards around the crease. Weger lost the puck. Kane did not try to go with the backhand on this one. No time on attack. Puts up a pressure to go for a full breakaway chain. And now Dryside has the puck. He now finds it over. Back to Kane. Shot. Stop by Markstrom. Dive releases with only 203 left to go in the first period. These two are doing really well to try to keep them out of here at a big side. Now that's a hit slam, and you know that Kane was down already? We've seen two of them. They're making a break off to go right from here. Cadre wins the face off. Here's that Arafi finds Tubi. Excuse me, now finding again to do it. On the flame attack, pop shot! Good stop by Skinner, and goes back to Kane. Kane right towards the right wing. Put it right near the net, Zadarov gets swiped out. Desimony, hour again to Greer. One minute remaining in the first period as the time runs down, and Doobie in the way! Good stop by Skinner! Trying to shut them down in the first period, but there's a lot of good calls to help them stop inbound. Now find Matt Cleoy. On a one on one, fast break shot. Rebound stopped by Mark Strong. Get back to Zadarov. Spins in circle. 
Looking to get it over to Dooler. Ten seconds remaining in the first. Nothing has been able to keep an eye on it. McLeod will finish the first period here in the full ball. And that will do. A lot of great shutdowns in between the first period of the Flames and the Oilers. We'll take a quick break when we come back for the second period. You're watching the NHL on EA Sports. Welcome back to Rogers Place as we're about to start the second period in Edmonton. And off we go. As we are turning things over, we saw that was a lot of great stop down major runs in between the Oilers and the Flames. Let's have your recap for the Flames and Oilers, fam. Well, I must tell you now, they were really that good. They tried to pick them up in the offense. They were really slamming it down. And they were wanting to shut them down right away. And this is a lot of a hard advantage that they wanted to take it from here. They've done a lot of it to try, try to stop the runs in between. The Battle of Alberta still continues to fight, but it's never going to give up. Lost that puck, and it goes back over to Uyghur. He now has it over to Anderson, and now Shangyapane. Manjapane, excuse me. Eugene Hopkins back to Bouchard. On back again to Brown. Brown. Can find a man opener as the puck leaves the zone into the Edmonton territory. There's no way you're going to lose that puck, but that is a lot of a hard of it. He's trying to look for open man, but nobody wants to get over it. they got to find help. Bouchard with the puck now finds Brown. Brown pass to McDavid. Lost that puck, and it goes back to Anderson the other way with 18 minutes gone by. Two minutes gone by in the second period. Sorry, shot! Good shot by Skinner! McDavid passed to Bouchard. Over again to Hyman. Hyman on the takedown. Pressures out, and Sarah holds on. Over into the left side. Going with the shot! Clubbed away by Skinner! Hyman puts it over now into the Oilers to the Flames territory. Loses the puck possession. Now fighting again. The Oilers are back on defense. And Zari back to make their way to the offensive attack. Stop made by Skinner. CeCe has it over now finding Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl back to Hyman. Hyman right toward the left inbound with a shot. Rebound stop away by Mark Shaw. Here's another one. Now back to CC. Loses possession and it's Herbert who taken over by Coleman. Closes the gap inbound as McLeod will have it over now to Gatner. Here's Gatner trying to cut him down, but it's knocked away as Hannafin gives to Coleman. Now back to Paplin. Flames block that shot. Grover has that one covered out, and now it's Fojo. Into the left side. Trying to cut him down. Geiger shot. Pat away by Mark Schoen. Hannafin fires it out. The Oilers regain their group as Grover recovers it, and Gagner has that puck. Inbound to McLeod. And a bound shot. Stop away by the goaltender. Tries to go over it again. Mattling for the loose puck. Nowhere to go as Backlund takes a steal. Got a one on one pass break. Shot stop. Good save by Skinner. Oh man, that could have been a goal for the Calgary Flames, but that's a great pressure. Yeah, it is true, honestly. You have to make sure you have to keep an eye on that one here. Not to get a trip. Oilers regain their group as Nurse takes it over. He now finds Ryan. Ryan lost that one. Tanev takes it over. Now back to Shankovich. Shankovic to Mangiapane. Try to go over it again. Stopped by Skinner. Lindholm recovers the puck. Rebounded it over to Shankovic. Play away. Bring up the goalpost. Stopped again by Skinner. Nugent Hopkins takes it over. That's a lot of full pressure on the offense run for Calgary Flames to score at the start of the second period. There's no way that they're going to get them off to that good start. If you really want to get there, you have to show them off what they're respectable with. This is a lot that hard that they're making the challenge out there. Not really too much of everybody's concern 
We're really trying to like get all of us. Not too much, nothing for everybody. New York inspires Big David. Find me Sproge on a shot. Stop by Mark Show. 11.20 to go in the second period. Still no score to game as Cadre is up. Tries to look it over. Not enough to beat the goaltender. Skinner holds a stop with only 11.06 to go. And both players inbound. It's still a no-score game for just in the second period before it comes to a midway mark. Win off face against here as Kadri takes a stop. Cece over to Gatner and now Fojo. He's on a one-on-one -on -one fast break. Nowhere to go. Zadarov gets back to Zari. Oh, Cece, nice put up and bound. Gagner right in the left shot stop by Mark Strong. Desimone puts it over again on the other side of the zone. In the Oilers territory. Nowhere to go. Fojo recovers the puck. Cece's got the puck in the middle. 2 on 1 opportunity. Gagner shot. Blocked away by Mark Strong. We pass the midway mark of the period, still a no score in the game in a second. All officials again said here, ready to take the face off into the offensive of the Flames territory. With the win, here's Broberg. Finds Pulak shot. Good stop made by Mark Schoen. Now pass to Gagner. The full pressure's on for the Oilers, but it comes off. Duller flies the puck out of the zone and now finds Broberg. Pass broken up. Doobie shot locked away. Skinner. Wow, that's a huge takedown with the save. Whoa, man. I'm not going to tell you now, dear fan. It is a lot of great saves. Yeah, I betcha. Official game set. You're ready for the faceoff with just under nine minutes to go. The win puts up for McDavid. Nurse finds Bouchard. Now swings to Hyman. Hyman right towards the right. Going to take a deep shot stop by Mark Stone. Kane and Bad behind is dry side off. Nowhere to go as Herbert takes it over. Flames back in possession now. Bouchard takes it over. Now dry side has their team back in the cavalry zone. Hyman lost that puck as Herbert takes it over. Back one in the, in the back in the offense zone. Looks to make the big Coleman shot. Good stop by Skinner. They're still going. And I can't tell you that Skinner made a lot of great saving inbound to try to stop one here. Now we've earned our one. Time on attack has been pulling up big. 339 for Oilers and 227 for the Flames. This is a hard one that they're taking. Well, in most cases, they were really like just going to have to make the run out of him. But I can't tell you now, they're going to be a lot of uh, energizing to make the run out of them. Good stop by Mark Show. McDavid back to get a brown shot. Denied by the goaltender. Back one. How's that way back? In transition, he takes it over to Coleman. Shot. Way off the mark. McDavid takes it over and now find Brown. Brown right towards the right wing. Tries to go to Nugent Hopkins. To the backhander, stopped away by Mark Schoen. And a round shot, Mark Schoen denies the run. And no score in this game, turns it out. 6.09 to go in the second period. Ready to do another one as they're ready to get to the faceoff. The win puts up for Herberdu. Weger gives to Anderson. Sankovic goes down. Gagger, deep pass again to Foligno. Oh, hello, moment. That's a big smackdown taken over by Uyghur. That is a little hard on that explanation out there. This is going to be a lot of challenging, and I can not tell you now, that is a big smackdown. you got to be careful with that. Fojo with the puck. Looking to get out of the way. No penalty has been whistled on Calgary Flames. And Shankovic goes it over to Mangia Panic. 4.50 left to go in the second period, and a steep pass to Gagner. He finds that call and now gives to McCloy. McCloy over into the middle, backhand way off the mark, over the net into the glass. 
Anderson back to Mangia Penny. Towards the right, pass again to Cadre. Stopped by Skinner. Deep setting pass in the center zone by Dreisaitl. Fires a shot, walked away in front. Now rebound the puck to Cece to Dreisaitl. Stopped by Mark Show. Dreisaitl give it over again to Cece and now Hyman takes it over. Echo on a release to Kennedy. Deflection has been denied. Cadre takes it over and now over again to the Flames territory. T.A. Oilers. Loses the puck possession as Ekholm takes it over. He's now inbound, finding Hyman. Looks to the middle. Cross saved by Mark Stone. 2.48 to go in the second period. Still, still no score in the game. Now they're ready to do more. The win puts up for, for the Flames. Zadaroff right around the corner now finds Zari. Tries to swipe across, but it was missed wide. Here's Zari's shot. Good stop by Skinner as Zari takes it back. Now finds Desimone. Finds Zadaroff. In the middle bound. Save me. Comes up by Skinner. Nurse takes it over. Edmonton back to the air way. And it goes right into the Flames territory. Here's Hyman. Good stop by Mark Show with under two minutes to go. Face still on the line to get this one done, and another face off is on its way. Panathan gives back to Herberdu. Two on one opportunity rate. Fires away. Nurse with the rebound as Biscayner makes another big save. Bouchard right towards the right way, and now Brown is in the head. And a one-on-one -on -one fast break. Shot stopped by Mark Schoen. Nearing a minute remaining in the second period, it's still a tight run. No score to games in between the, those two periods. And we have to find out if the third period comes in for Edmonton or Calgary. Here's Bouchard blocked the shot. Over to back the other way. Looks inbound, finding Hannafin. Rebounded, stopped by Skinner. Now he gets off to Bouchard. 30 seconds remain in the second period. Oh, big takedown. Hannafin right over to the left. Lindholm right towards the opposite corner. Now find Tanev. Final seconds remaining. Lindholm, deep shot. Good stop by Skinner, and that ends the second period with the bonus beater. Great to hear that one out there. You gotta have that stop. We finished two periods. Third period's coming up after the break. We are down to last period. Two periods concluded. We're down to the last one. And let's do this. Nurse and your teams are back in it, and we are ready to finish off the last period. So far, no scorer has come up in between each periods of the Flames and Oilers, but it's a lot of great lockdown defense in between the two. Well, that's turned out really well, and I gotta tell you now, they don't really have been pushing it off that sense. And you can't just really say that whenever you do the passing right, you just gotta make the time run. And that's a lot of great hustling and bounding between the Oilers and the Flames. They've been doing a lot much harder than they have done before. They are just trying to work their butts off. But hey, no question to ask. They're really doing really well to try to keep them out of here. For the bigger moment, they want it all. On the start one, here's Kane. Pass over to Dreisaitl on the shot. Lost that one as Melkstrom will have it. Now Anderson will have it over. Now back to Manju Penny. Gives back to Lindholm and now find Uyghur. Uyghur has his puck stolen by Nurse. Here's another take inbound for Nurse. Pass again, one timer denied by Mark Strom. 17.35 left to remain in the third period, and Anderson has it away. Back to Uyghur. Uyghur right towards the left. Go, oh my! He went right over the board and he just made that hard, no stoppable. You just have to just make them feel like you want to smash somebody out. That takes him right into the neutral zone and a bench. That's a lot harder when you can't get away with that. 
Jankovic finds Kondre's shot, blocked it away, and it's another save by March, by Skinner, excuse me. Now Gagner right over to the right wing, gets denied, back again to Denev, as Weger shuts him down. Now this time it goes back the arrow way, Denev goes down, Kondre gets it over, CC takes the puck away. Now finds that call. Takes it back to Gagner. Flames are filling out a little bit in between a man-to-man -man cover. McLeod finding full gel shot. Tinette takes it away. Now back to Kadre. Beat to pass over to Pospisil. Pospisil right over now again to Fogel and he has it back. Going to take a two-on-one. Will it be in? No! And he put it back in! But we have to watch that replay again in between. Hmm, I don't know if this one's going to help. Yeah, it looks like he's crashing it a bit, and I don't think it's not going to count. He just went in there and in, in transition, it looks like that when he comes in that fast, he just made that pass that quick. You thought that was going to be a goal, but the work we signal it was denied. That's not going to be in there for as well as it comes in there. The officials make a denying call. They say it is a no goal, as right now it's still under 15 to go. Backlund wins the faceoff, and Deneb gives it over to Coleman. Coleman to Backlund, another hit goes with the Oilers. Get the pass, deny that run, as CC tips back to Nugent Hopkins. McDavid shot, denied again by Mark Strom. Desimone right back to Coleman. Backlund gets back to Herberdu. Herberdu went wide. Good stop by the defender on, D on CC. Nugent Hopkins right over to get into the left side to the right. Oh, he just made that big tumble down. Just say, is that what you're going to do? That's when you show when you messed him up with a defender like that. I don't know what to tell you now. This is a lot of great hustling about him. If the wrestlers can't just do it on ice, you know they can't do that. Like sumo wrestlers. You just make it out on a on battle call. Right from the clash to clash zone. Cut and bound, the boy lost that one. Holloway back again to Nurse. Fires away! Stop by Markstrom! Oh, what a great help here for the offensive inbound as the defense puts a stop for Markstrom. Edmonton right again to Holloway. Now deep pass to Ryan. Ryan recovers it. Stop by Markstrom. Zagorov with the puck now finding Lindholm. 12.07 to go in this third period. Chankovic over again shot. Denied again by Skinner. He lost that puck and it leads to the zone. The Flames back in offense now find Anderson. And now over to get him and Penny. Takes him out big. Orders regaining the group as Broberg recovers it. Back to pass to Kane. Lost that one as Evander Kane losses it. Yeah, the long shot. They'll have to deny that one for Markstrom. Now back the airway is Hyman. Go to Kulak in the Flames territory. A bound shuts him down. Kulak recovers the puck. Rebound take away. Kane shot. Denied it and go back to Broberg. In the corner now is Kane. Kane beat past the Broberg shot. Trying to put back in, but it's been knocking out. Hyman, get it back. Zary has it across now. Without the pressure, it goes back to Weaver. Pass to Anderson. All alone, Skinner sock. Eckholm gets to Kane, and now find Gagner. Gagner gets one pushed out. Gagner recovers it. On a shot, went wide off the mark, right behind the net. And now it goes back to Duby. Past the midway mark of the period, still no score of the game. This could be like no goals in between the regulation period. Well, that's a lot of shutdowns in between. Do well, you think this will go into overtime? Well, I'm probably sure this will be, but I'm not sure if this will happen. Because if this one puts him down, I'm going to have to find out what it is. McLeod lost the puck. He goes right towards the right slot, and Jeanette with the puck now finding Doe. He finds Hannafin. Now back to Doobie. Doobie swings that puck. And now Edmonton Oilers have it back as CeCe gives a deep pass again to McDavid. 
Throwing it back again to Brown. Right towards the center, McDavid! Markstrom denies the shot! That's a good stop made for the goaltender with under eight minutes to go. Now they're ready to do this one again. Faceoff is covered up in between the Flames and Edmonton Oilers with 7.44 to go. Calgary wins the faceoff as Edmonton has it out. Now to now brings their team back into the Edmonton territory. On the attack, Palmer shot! And it's lifts still out of here and it goes right to the corner. From outside, Herbert in a range, shots up! Greenberg puts the right back from Skinner! Well, he's been going really well at that point. I must tell you now, Skinner has been like a wow moment. He's not quitting. Back then with the puck and now over again into the Flames to Oilers territory. Blocked away as Skinner gets to CeCe. Deeps it over now to McDavid. One on one attack. Pushes it out of here and it goes back to Denev as Herbert Dew takes it over now. Find Hannafin. Back line right towards the left. Boot swipe down. That's a great stop but another hit run. McDavid. Can't find an open man. Oh, went a little aggressive at that point and says, yeah, that's what you want to do? That's a hard one that you try to stop for in that run. Magic pain. Loved it away by Skinner. 524 left to go in the third period, and as the time is ticking down, the midway mark to the end of the third. I can't tell you now, because that's what happens. It's a payback lesson on back one. You don't know what happens, and that is a lot harder than you gotta take. Now the win for the Oilers as Nurse takes it over. Spins it around. Passes to Holloway. Looking inbound, and goes right toward the back of the wall as Weaver takes it over, now find Anderson. Now Lindholm has it over. Pass to Magic Penny. Tries to cover inbound, Weaver up, charge, and good save by Skinner, oh my goodness! That's another big saving night, and the fans are crowding on for Skinner to make a huge save. It's a lot of great hustling in that one, and you know, the free star players are going to be a lot harder in this challenging run. They've really done the best. Lavoy reject the block shot. Tries again. Skinner. Then Markstrom takes another big save. Stops it in the center. Lavoy right into the right. In the corner. Scoop up along Escadre. 3 10 to go in the third period. As the time might be coming down towards the wire in the third. Oh, Skinner got a nice save. Already on a quick timer, the franchise is still go rising. What's out the call? As we have, Cool Beast standing by. Alice Lindholm has been doing a lot much better than he has here before, and I gotta say, this was a hard team that they were trying to make us feel paid for it. But it's a lot better for Conor McDavid and the team, but they're trying to do their best. Elliot Slingholm will have to see if their team can get to into overtime. Back to you. Hyman shot! Mark Strong denies it! It's still going. He shuts him down as Kadri takes it over. Kadri right toward the left. CC grabs in the puck again. Under two minutes in the third period and they're still looking to get a goal. Kyle came up. Mark Strong stops. Anderson right towards the left wing. Back to CeCe and Ivan's group back into the territory of the Flames. The Flames will gain their group on the offense side. Anderson right on its way to Mangiapane. Over again, one timer! Oh man, that Skinner is taking it big! Stop again! Under a minute to go in the third period, it's still a no score at each. Teams, they're taking it away from each other. The win puts up for the Flames. Here comes Hannafin shot. It's denied by Skinner. Hannafin gave up to Shankovic. Loses the puck as McDavid takes it over to Nurse. 30 seconds to go in the third period. Nurse recovers the puck. Goes swiping down. Recovered by Nugent Hopkins. McDavid shot! Markstrom save! 
to Ned, takes it over. 15 seconds to remain as the team is winding down. And that will be out of here. Bouchard and their team is going to send their way to overtime for the first time in a rival game. And this will be it. And it's blocked. So that ends the regulation period. Great shutdown for Skinner and Markstrom, but we will find out who has the next goal. Coming up after the break. Overtime about to begin, and this game is brought to you by Adidas. Let's get started. The overtime starts now in Season 3. Elko in a star run, and Markstrom denies that shot. That big and bounding is a lot of attackers. I just can't tell you, but they're trying to make that one contact. That's a lot of hard responses. Here's McDavid right towards the left. He's going to try to beat the goaltender. Chamberlain! Bring the knife by get by Mark Stone. Uberdue now finds Weger deep past the Lindholm. One on one, fast break. Back again to Eckholm, and here's Dryside off. Looking to get a run off. Blocked away by Mark Show. 3.42 in overtime remaining. As right now, there's still no score to make that transition go in between. Now with the win, here's Echo Shot. Blocked in. There's the penalty. That's going to be a tripping call on Manji Pene. Well, here they come now because the power play's on. And this could be... It could be a goal. And the Oilers now have their answer. They're ready to take their power play. Now with the win for Backlund, here's Tanev. Fires it out. And the fans are chanting, let's go Oilers. Now back again to Nurse. Here's another look for Nugent Hopkins. Shot! Being on by the goaltender! Oh, put back down. Tanev fires it out. Nurse takes it over. Now finds Kane. Under three minutes. Shot! Stop by Mark Stone. We are under three minutes remaining in overtime, and this power play still continues for the run of the Oilers. The win puts up for the Mangiapane, and now Anderson takes it over. Stops it around. Deep saucer pass to Coleman. Takes it out. Dry saddle with the puck, now finding Bouchard. Bouchard, deep pass to Dreisaitl, shot! Get on by Markstrom! Bouchard, over to Dreisaitl, rebound, he scores! Game winner for Edmonton Oilers! And that ends up for the winner of the MVP star of the game, Leon Dreisaitl! What a great win! I can't tell you how much this is a fantastic run, you gotta make a credit to win it all. That is right, I gotta look it over again because you know that Leon Dreisaitl, he has it all the way down. Because the back of the stops, he puts it right between the back end of a shot, and he makes that one in there. What a finish for the Edmonton Oilers. It's all a great salute to the fans, and we all pay respect for the Alberta team of the battle. This is a fun one to watch, and I enjoyed it. I just say that this is a great one, great stop by Skinner, and great stop by Markstrom. They both did the best. And here's how they did. Your last statistic scores turns out to be in between the game stats, right in between those two. If you enjoyed this one, we will stick you around for our next rival game, as we have that one coming in by. Well, as of me right now, this has been a presentation of the rival week of the NHL on EA Sports. We hope you appreciate this game. Send a piece along with Fan and Cool Beast. We'll see you all again next time. Have a good night, everybody. All right, thank you guys so much. As right now, but the wind puts up in, and it's a hard one to take that one stoppable run. 
Connor McDavid and her team has Leon Dreisaitl. He finally makes that one a good one to make it right back at you to go with the payback run. And also with the snipe, and he finally has that power play win. It's a great stoppage, and we love the Battle of Alberta. This has been a fun one for tonight, and I guess it's a, an excellent run to just try to make a stoppable run to have the win. What a great win for Edmonton Oilers. It would have been accounted as a goal for the regulation period, but over time seems to do the trick. After a penalty puts up for Calgary Flames, and the power play goal puts up for the end of the game. Here are your stats for three star players of the game as right now the third star player. We start off with the run with Leon Dreisaitl with a goal and that is your overtime winner with a power play run inbound. And with the second star player in the game, it all goes for Stuart Skinner, 42 saves, he's on a perfect run. And Markstrom was the first star player of the game that turned out bigger than he had, 56 saves and that was the biggest, strongest attack motion run to have it all. Here is the total stats of the game. 57 over 42 for Edmonton on the total shots. 71 over 66 for Calgary on a hit. 7 and 11 over 546 on time on attack. 93 to 94 passing percentage for Edmonton and Calgary. 17 over 12 for the faceoff wins and puts up for Calgary Flames. And now back the other way is two minutes on a penalty kill for Calgary and a power play goal with a minute and 18 on the ice time. So that is it. Battle of Alberta is the fun one to be. We'll have you again here next time as we will have another rival coming in in between those two. With that being said, OJ is out. I'd like to thank you all for watching and if you like this game, you may also like the other rival games as well. They're right in here on the calling card. If you missed it or not, you may have the solution. In the meantime, thanks for joining with us and peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL 24 on EA Sports Style. Have a great night and we'll see you all again next time. Adios and hasta luego. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.